Hello guys, Kicking Loose Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom model data. Custom model data is an MBT tag that you can apply to an item. If you try to apply it to a block, then it will just summon a block with no extra properties, no custom model data, and no errors. Same goes for entities. So, how do you create a cool model in Minecraft? Well, you need to set up a resource pack. In Minecraft, resource packs are what handle all the models and textures. So, if you want to make your model, then you have to put it inside of a resource pack. Step 1. Create the resource pack. Making and changing a resource pack may look impossible at first, but the game has everything you really need. The first step is to hold down the Windows key and press R. You should see a dialog box saying run. In the open box, type in percent, app, data, percent, and then click on OK. You should see a .minecraft folder. It is usually at the top. Double click on this. You should then double click on versions. You need to find your version folder. In my case, I'm using 1.17, so I'm going to click on that. You should see two files, 1.17.jar and 1.17.json. If you do not see the .jar and .json on the end of these, then you need to click on View and then click on File Name and Extensions. In my case, this is already ticked. Which is why these file extension extensions are showing. If I turn it off, you can see you don't see .jar or .json on the end of these. I recommend having this on all the time. If you ever use the built-in Windows Extractor tool to extract .zip files, then it can only extract those. If you try to extract a .jar file or something along the lines of that, then it won't show up. So you're going to need to use a third party extractor tool. In my case, I use 7-zip. If you don't have 7-zip, download it at 7-zip.org. Because I have it installed, I'm going to right click the .jar file. Have forever 7-zip and then click extract to version backward slash. It might take a while on your case, but because I have a good internet and computer, it does not take that long. Here is the folder. You can move this folder to anywhere you like on your drive. Step two, create the custom model data. Before creating custom model data, you need to change your resource pack to make it work. So, you need to go back into your extracted folder. You are going to need to delete everything except for assets. I'm going to permanently delete these all. This might take a long time, so I'm going to cut when it finishes. Okay, so I've finished deleting all those files. Now, what I'm going to need to do is make a new file and call it pack dot mc meta. You will get a warning saying, if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Just click yes. You should see a page icon. In my case, I see a notepad icon because I've already assigned what application it's going to open with. But if you haven't done this before, you are most likely going to see a page icon. You're going to right click this and click open with. I'm going to click notepad. If it's not here, click more apps, scroll down, then choose notepad. Always use this app to open .mc meta files. I like to check that. I'm going to click OK. 
Yeah. This is Pac.mc Matter. This is a writing sort of code here. So, if we're writing a type of code, then it might be a bit hard. So, I have a template in the description of this video. Okay? And I'm just going to paste that into my notepad. I pasted it into my notepad. Definitely did not cut to get some template and paste it in. Definitely did not do that. Okay, so this might look a bit confusing, but I'll explain it to you. Description is pretty self-explanatory. You can write a description of the pack. I'm just going to type in tutorial, if I can spell properly. And pack format. Pack format is the version that I'll work on. Have you ever tried to enable resource packs and it says this version is this this resource pack is this resource pack requires a version newer or older than this? Are you sure you want to activate it? Well, how does it detect that? Well, it's pack format. Pack format is the version the resource pack is using. I'll leave a link to the wiki page for all the pack formats, but because I'm using 1.17, I'm going to type in 7. I'm going to save this file and close that event. You can also add a pack.png file, but you don't need to. I am not going to add this because I do not have a pack.png file. The next step is to go into the assets folder. You need to delete the .mc assets, .mc asset root and realms. These are not important and we're not going to use them. Unless of course you're trying to edit realms. I'm not that experienced in editing, rel editing realms. I'm only really good at Minecraft. So let's close out of these. Okay. Oh, why didn't realms delete? I thought I deleted realms. Okay. Oh, just unspecified error. Okay, let's go into Minecraft. I'm also going to delete GPU warn this.json. Not important. So, what we're going to need to do is delete everything except textures and models. Let's permanently delete this. So, let's go into textures. We're going to delete everything and then I'm going to create a new folder. and call this custom and this noodles we're going to delete everything except item wait we can delete everything except item which means we can actually just delete block so let's just delete block we need to go into item you might be overwhelmed by how many things are on here but do not worry we are just going to permanently delete all of those. I'm just thinking, I wonder if I'm going to have to cut because it might take a while to delete. Let's see. Oh, not that long. Okay, so we're going to, what you're going to do now is you're going to make your model. So I like to use a block bench as my modeling software and it's really good for making custom model data in Minecraft. I'm going to open this up and all I'm going to do here it just create some um, like let's just do a test and let's just create a little cube and just size it a weird way there you go let's add a texture let's see do i have any texture i have this okay yeah this is very weird here as you can see uh obviously it's just a test so i think i'll just leave it very weird yeah, it's very weird. Okay, so I'm gonna save this here. Stitch, yeah, I'm gonna stitch this texture. And we're going to save this. Uh, by the way, you wouldn't see that stitch texture, it's because I have a plugin for Blockbench, but don't worry about that. So, I'm gonna go into resource packs, right? 
going to see that there's no resource pack here. What do we do? Because we don't actually want to go into there. We want to go into version of .minecraft. What it does is it actually defaults the resource pack folder. So yeah, we don't want to do that. So let's go into 1.17 and go here. We're going to save it in Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Custom. I'm just going to leave that stitch texture.png. I don't really care about the name. Just test. So you can see we've saved it. So I'm just going to quickly tell you about display. In Blockbench, display is what handles what everything looks like in game. So you can see this is what it looks. Like. This is what it looks like when I'm holding it. It's absolutely horrendous, I know. But uh, <laughs> let's just make it even more horrendous by doing this. This should really make it horrendous. Okay, I do not care at all about how it looks because it's just a test. So yeah, uh, yeah. I just want to make it actually visible in first person. But where well, there it is. Look, it looks like some sort of key. <laughs> so let's put it here. And on the head, let's make it stick out of your head like that. Very weird. And on the ground, I want to make it so you can actually see on the ground. It's not just some sort of weird thing in the ground. Here we go. It's a bit weird, but let's go into frame. I don't care about the frame. Let's see, I can even put it on top of the item frame box. On top of a block. Let's see, how high can I go with this? Boo. Wait. Whoa big okay yeah i don't really care about anything so i'm gonna go and click file hover over export and click export block slash item model i'm going to go into that same folder same version same everything i'm gonna go into assets minecraft going to go to models item i'm just going to leave this as test.json and we're going to save that so you can see it says saved as test.json so what you need to do is you need to create something that references that model so if i go into here see this right here the, the model is there in the game files but it won't do anything if we launch the game so what we need to do is create something that references it now how do we do this well i'm going to create a new text document and i'm going to name this is the item that i want to have the customer data be able to be applied to in my case i'm just going to choose iron nugget Make sure it has a .json extension. Okay, I just spelled nugget wrong. Let me fix that. That's better. So, I'm going to open this one up. It will probably ask you. Uh, you just click notepad. So, I am going to cut to where I have a template because I am uh, very not well prepared so I need to get a template of this okay I'll come back in a few moments for you but for me it actually probably takes a minute so I think I actually finally managed to get a template that I can put in here we go so my base item as I said was iron nugget my custom model data, I'm just going to have it as one. And my one was test. That was the one. As you can see, if I go back here, that's just my recording software, don't mind that. Uh, if I go back here, you can see test.json, that's the name of it. So I'm going to reference test, right? And we're going to save that, and I think I already have it saved, yeah. So I'm going to save that, okay, close out of that, and what we've done
done here is we've actually successfully added a custom model data to the game. But because it's not actually in the resource pack folder, nothing's going to happen. So what do we do? We have to put it in the resource pack folder. I'm going to copy this and put it in my resource pack folder. Here it is. I'm going to rename it from 1.17 to test resource I actually don't have the game run. I know I've done like three cuts in this video, but you already guess what I'm going to say. I'm going to cut to when I have Minecraft open. So, I am going to enable resource pack. Uh, my hero bind data pack has hero bind right behind me. Go away. Okay, so... What am I saying? I was saying, yeah. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but my recorder software makes my screen go black whenever I go into the options menu of Minecraft. I don't know if it's going to happen this time, but we'll see. So I think it might have actually went properly now, but let's see if it works. I spent so long recording this, and if it doesn't work, I'm probably just going to give up on recording this video completely. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Did it work? It works! It worked! Yes, yes, yes. Sorry for the voice crap that I made when I shouted it worked, but I'm just really happy that it's worked. Hopefully. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you to subscribe. The default thing everybody has to do. You know how people think that subscribing just takes so long? I mean, it's easy. Go out of full screen and just click subscribe. And the uh, you have to go into the notification bell as well for that to work, but I mean, just please do it. Please, 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 please. I need them. I need subscribers. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to shut off the video now. Do I have an outro? No, I don't have an outro. Fine, I'll not do an outro, that's all. Just plain out ended video.